Thank you, Presiding Officer. Um, I'd like to commend my colleague Rhoda Grant for securing this debate and to say to her, um, thank you. Thank you for believing women. Thank you for believing in Deanne Fitzpatrick. Like Rhoda, um, or listening to Rhoda, I, I feel like my heart is racing because I, I feel angry hearing that. Um, and Deanne's experience is not isolated, it's not unusual. Um, so I hope we all feel angry. And society doesn't like angry women. Society doesn't reward angry women. But we have to stand up. And I look to young people in the gallery. And we have to depend on you to say that this can't continue. We need change um, to prevent the next generation from going through this kind of um, rubbish. And we need to say not in our name. And I'm glad, that because of Rhoda's debate, all members of all parties can stand here today to unite in this chamber in condemnation of misogyny, racism, harassment and sexism against women. Because according to Close the Gap, three million women each year in the UK experience violence against them and the workplace is no different. Imagine going to your place of work knowing you're going to be subjected to sexism, harassment, bullying, to be ridiculed and degraded, all because you're a woman. And it's not unusual, 70% of women in Scotland have witnessed or experienced sexual harassment. So that means there's a lot of bystanders. So I agree with Rhoda Grant, it's beyond time to blow the whistle on this oppressive behaviour and often criminal behaviour. Deanne Fitzpatrick showed courage and bravery in stepping forward and speaking about her experience, but we've heard about a decade of abuse. My own brave constituent, lawyer Kerry Evans, has publicly spoken about her own experience of bullying in the workplace. Um, she's a, or she was a public defence um, solicitor, but she's had to resign from, from her job. Um, I've raised Kerry's story with the First Minister. I've raised it in the chamber. It's been aired through the, the Sunday Mail. Um, Kerry was one of three women working in a branch of the Public Defence Solicitor's Office who brought about a complaint about the same individual a male manager. Um, Kerry kept a diary of her experiences and did what ministers have advised me to report these things. But the Information Commissioner's Office have since warned the PDSO for breaching Kerry's data protection rights because that diary was handed over to her alleged perpetrator, perpetrator. So again, it's a further example that as MSPs, we are seeing these cases and we're seeing them far too often. So Kerry has, her fight is not over, but Kerry Evans has resigned from her job because she couldn't take it any longer. And Kerry is bright, intelligent, passionate, cares deeply, the kind of person who has got oozes emotional intelligence. And the fact that she's no longer in her public service post means that Scotland is worse off for that. So we need culture change. Um, women remain underrepresented in uh, many sectors of the economy, but look at in politics. 35% um, of our members here are women. You go into local government and it, it drops down to 29% and there's variation within local authorities. So even within political parties, we're not valuing um, diversity, we're not respecting women, we're still arguing about um, the use of all women's shortlists and um, other, other tools we can use to increase diversity. Um, Lynn Henderson, who's a trade union leader, president of the Scottish Trade Union Congress, has a great campaign which is Step Aside Brother. And she's saying true power is present, not when you grasp it and hold on to it, but when you give it away to someone else. So we need to respect everyone. Of course, we have to respect men, women, um, but we have to recognise that there is a power imbalance. There's a power imbalance. And when that is abused, this kind of behaviour can perpetuate. So I would, again, like to, to thank um, Rhoda Grant. But, presiding officer, there's a desperate need for employers, for public agencies, for other bodies, social media platforms. But all of us, all of us in political parties, those who are in government, to do something. We can't keep talking about this. We have to act, and we have to act now. Thank you. Can I call